Hey guys, it's JP. Today I have a chess puzzle for you that I would like to solve together. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to solve this puzzle yourself and then we're going to go over it together. So first things first, pause the video, take 10 minutes, try to solve the puzzle. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now that you've gotten an opportunity, let's start talking about this. Um, the first move that looks good is queen takes knight. You know, you're, you're just up a knight, and if the queen takes back, you take the queen, you're still just up a knight. But queen takes knight loses instantly because black has queen takes g2 checkmate. The queen and the bishop are coordinating to create a battery on your king, and you need to do something about that. Uh, you have a better move than just taking the knight right away that also defends this g2 square. That is pawn f4. So pawn f4 forks both of these pieces, and now your queen defends this square. So if the queen was to try to check you anyway, you just take the queen. And if the bishop takes, you just take the bishop. And the knight is still hanging. So now you're winning. Um, but that's not black's best response. You think, okay, well, maybe black just moves back. And, okay, well, then you just take the piece. And black still can't do this checkmate because you still guard this. Still up a piece. Um, so black does have an interesting counterattack that you have to be precise with. Uh, which you honestly should calculate this whole thing before you move any of the pieces. Which is hard because there's a lot of steps. Black has knight f3 check. So there's a problem here. Um, you can't take with your g-pawn because the g-pawn is pinned to the king through the queen. Uh, basically, if you were to... You, taking with the g-pawn is an illegal move because it would be putting the king into check. What you do have is queen takes knight. And you think, that's insane. Because then the bishop just takes. But remember, your pawn is still attacking the queen. So once you make this capture, black is down a piece. He has to do something. Create some sort of counterplay. Either he trades the queens off, or he plays the position down a piece. Because you're attacking both of these pieces too. And notice, two, three, right now it's five pieces, two, four. White's, white's absolutely winning in this position. So black has to do something. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Uh, it's black to move. Black still has a threat. He can win an exchange. Um, and it's his move, so he just does this. But you take back with the rook. And we look at the resulting position. Um, you have two bishops for one of his rooks. Two minor pieces is stronger than one singular rook. In total, it is three pieces to two pieces. Uh, but you, you also have to uh, look at the ramifications of that. Um, the reason two bishops are stronger than a rook is because together they can coordinate uh, on the diagonals to cover um, a lot of ground. And obviously a rook is worth as much as a rook. So the computer actually evaluates this as plus 5.78, which is <laughs> uh, more than enough to win a game. Um, I won't go into the specifics of how to win this end game. Um, but just realize that this is winning for white, and um, that's it. That was 
all of the that was the best sequence of moves white could have possibly played um and now he's just winning so thank you for making it to the end of this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one